what would you do to get your first deal in 30 days? And I highly doubt Jerry Norton needs 30 days. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Data Cruncher software, which finds cheap houses in your area. Get it now at mydatacruncher.com. So Jerry's got a cheat. He's done deals in just about every single state. Have you done a deal in Alaska? I have not. No, okay. So I have not. Jerry, I drop you off in Anchorage, in Alaska. Alaska. Great. Now you're screwed. You have no money. You have a cell phone, but none of your contacts. So okay. you, if you need to get a hold of somebody or you need to dial, or you need to do whatever you can. Okay. What would you do to get your first deal in 30 days? And I highly doubt Jerry N Norton needs 30 days. I know exactly what I would do. Here's what I would do. So as of this recording right now, redfin.com, they offer a feature called Fixer Upper. So if you don't know this, what happens is, is Redfin, they have an algorithm and they look at the descriptions in the listings and they look for keywords like fixer, handyman, TLC, all those words. And then if it fits their algorithm, they create a category called fixer, you can checkbox it. So I would go into Anchorage, Alaska, I would checkbox fixer upper, it's gonna give me a list of active homes for sale that Redfin identified as fixer uppers. So right out of the gate, I know I've got a list. Sometimes it's a big list, like so if you go- if I, So if I've got my cell phone, like an iPhone, yeah. I can do this all right on your phone. phone. Okay. Yeah. So then I would do that. I would get a short list of what they would call active for sale fixer uppers. And then I would start working through that list. Now, the reason why is because it's a distressed property. It's, it's on market now, so it's not off market. So that means there's real estate agents. So step two would be, I would call the listing agent, not a buyer's agent representing me on an offer. I'd call the listing agent direct. I would follow a strategy I call double dip, which is you go straight to the listing agent and you say, hey, I'm interested in your listing. I want to make an offer. Will you represent me as the buyer? Now you're already getting, you're already representing the seller, but will you do a dual agency? Some states don't allow dual agency. There's some workarounds to that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if Alaska allows it or not, but um, I still do it by the way, even if they don't, because they'll just have me work with someone in their office. Right. Okay. So then I would, I would tell that listing agent, Hey, I want to make an offer. I want to make a cash offer. I want you to write for me if I do, can you, and are you up for getting both sides of the commission? Nine out of 10 times, they're all over this because you doubled their commission now. Right. They're going from 3% to 6%, right? Because they get three for the seller, three for the buyer side. Right. Now they're highly motivated. So the next thing I would do is I'd say, okay, I'd look at comps right on Redfin, you can do it. I'd look at comps, I'd say, I'd run my formula. I'd figure out where's a good deal. I would make that offer to that to that agent and I'd say, call up the seller right now, make a cash offer. Let's see if we can put a deal together. Um, what I found is depending on how long it's been out for sale, the price, the real estate agent, all of the same factors we always have when we're looking at leads is I can usually find, if I do this enough, if I call enough times, I can usually find an agent who's hungry enough to, to present my offer to the seller, the, a seller motivated enough to look at a cash offer um, ideally, if the property just came out, I've got a much bigger shot at it because I'm first, I'm first to the deal. So you're not going after houses that have been listed for four or five months. You're going after houses that are pretty new, but, I start but they're with, fixer uppers. Yes. Okay. So I start, I put a filter with the newest to oldest and I start with the newest ones, but some of my best deals have been the ones listed for the longest. Yeah. Same as you do with creative financing. It's sitting there. It's not moving. Maybe they're motivated. So right? what's my opening line to the agent? Uh, I'm interested in making an all cash offer on your property, on your listing at 123 Main Street. I'll let you write the offer for me, call me. So I'll text them first. Now they call you instantly because they're like, wait, what cash offer? I write it, I'm all in. So they'll call me right away. Middle of nowhere, let's say Omaha, Nebraska, which is not necessarily middle of nowhere. It's a pretty decent sized city. If I dropped you into Omaha, Nebraska. It's not in my top 10 places to live. Of course, <laughs> but I'm sure you've done a deal there. Yeah. Right, that's the problem with Jerry is he's done a deal everywhere, so this is kind of a cheat code. Some some people I interview